My name's Emma Hayes, I'm the manager of Chelsea women's football team. I'm also a mum of a three-year-old, a sibling of three, and um, someone who's fascinated with the area of my own personal health. At Chelsea, the big thing for us on the women's side is that we're, we're women first, and that that's the starting point, and that physiologically we have differences, our brains are different, um, the approach to the way we do things will be different and that we always attack it from that and we might be that we're education, educating upwards about the needs we have and in particular around our hormonal health and how that impacts us um, and, and work with a range of different experts that are educating us that to get the best performance out of people we have to recognise these difference and put in place the right strategies to make them work. I have to start with the fact that I coach football matches at high levels that deplete me after every game. Win or lose, doesn't matter the result. Sometimes they're late at night, sometimes they're Sunday afternoons. So the come down from that adrenaline is an equivalent to, to having a, a lot to drink and a hangover the following morning, except I drink no alcohol. So the body depletes in, in more ways than one. I was tail spinning, I, I felt like uh, all my breath was in my chest the entire time that I couldn't get, I couldn't get a full breath anymore, my joints ached, my uh, memory was clouded, my blood sugar levels felt out of control, um, my ability to recover, all of those things were I just felt like my systems were stressed. They were working hard just to, to keep going and just feeling that constant fatigue around my eyes, that tiredness, but I felt so bloated. That was so uncomfortable. I just felt like my body was just bloating every day and I, and I, I, didn't, know, I didn't know what to do with it, and it, it, but I didn't have the energy to exercise. I was merely trying to get my minimum amount of steps in every day, walking at work, trying to get enough vitamin D even though my body didn't absorb it naturally, that it was just, everything was crisis management. Having an IV with the amino acids, with the minerals, getting all the right nutrients back into my body just sent me from a comatose state to a rejuvenated state. I think the hyperbaric chamber um, and the, you know understanding how it oxygenates my blood, I leave skipping every time. Literally, physically, I don't skip at any other point, but I skip when I leave here to the car. I feel like I'm one of those jingles, those adverts where I'm like, you know, just dancing out of control down the street because I can feel the blood capillaries, I can feel everything coming to the surface and I feel I can get the longest, deepest breath that maintains and actually with hyperbaric it improves. I always feel like they get that first hit and I always just feel better through the course of the day and it's the most amazing night's sleep. And the cryo chamber feels like I can coach another game that evening. So the combination of those uh, therapies I think are critical to performance. The benefits for me are life changing and I feel uh, a calm serenity because my body's not jumping all over the place. We're feeling out of control, out of whack. So, and now I just wanna, I wanna do more of the right things and not more of everything.